Welcome back. The last time we looked at how to add users manually in the system. Today, we're going to import them from an Excel spreadsheet. Now, why would you want to import from an Excel spreadsheet? You could just add them manually, but that's very time consuming. And for most organizations, you have hundreds, if not thousands of users. So then it's a lot easier if you just add them through a spreadsheet where you already have the data. So we're going to start by clicking on users. And today we're going to take an export of these users. Then we're going to delete them. And then we're going to import them back in. Then we're going to make some changes to some users in the spreadsheet. And then we're going to import that in as well. So let's get started. Now for a lot of people, the most intuitive way to download users into an a CSV file would be to use this little button down here because it looks like a little download button. And that would make sense, but I'm gonna show you why that's not a good place to start for this particular operation. So let's click it. It's gonna download a little file. Let's open it right away. Now you'll find all the information in here, email, username, uh, user type, status. It looks pretty good at first glance, but do notice that it says only the first initial and not the full name. So let's click into one of the users on Talent LMS. Now you'll see that it doesn't only say F rolled set, it says Fred rolled set. Now in this case, if you if we use the Excel document, we're not gonna get the first name because it simply doesn't say it anywhere. So this is not the, the, the ideal import file to get all the information for your users. Now let's click back to Talent LMS, go to home, and we're gonna show you what you do instead. Now there's this little Vandalay function called import export. Let's click on that. Now in here, you'll find the import and the export tab. Let's click on export. Now in here, you get to choose between Excel and CSV. I always choose Excel because it's a lot easier to work with. So let's hit the export function and open the file that it generates. So this is the file. Let me zoom out a bit so you can see all the fields. In this file, you have the, the, all the information that you need. You have the uh, login, first name, last name, email, user type. You even have the bio if we had written something there and so on. So this actually contains all the stuff we need to do the import. Let's have a look below because they have a number of tabs at the bottom of the sheet as well. Here you can see the courses, the categories, uh, branches, uh, users groups. Uh, in here, for example, users courses, you can see all the courses that are assigned to any user in the system. But we're gonna also look at users groups. Now we haven't talked a lot about groups yet, so I apologize if this is information overload right now. But for the sake of the example, just notice how it says P. Parker is part of retail cashier. Now just keep that in mind for now, and we'll return to it in a couple of minutes. Now, let's click back into Talent LMS. We're gonna click Home, Users, and then we're gonna go ahead and delete these two. There is a way to bulk delete them, but I'm gonna do one at a time this time. I'll show you in a bit how to do the bulk delete. Now, with those two users gone, we're gonna get onto importing the users. We're not gonna delete my user because then I can't import. So up on where it says add users, there's a little arrow down. So we're gonna click that. And then it says import users. Now you get into the import export area and we're gonna click on this uh, blue area to select our file. Now it'll show you some information below in a uh, format that Talent LMS understands. So we're gonna hit the import button to import. And now we get some import results. The first thing I want you to look at is the user P. Parker was not imported because the user is in archive status. Now, what does that mean? In Talent LMS, when you delete a user, then it's not actually fully deleted. It's archived for a while so that you can bring it back if it was deleted by mistake. So you're probably not gonna encounter this error if you're importing new users, but you might. 
if you're trying to bring back users that you've previously had in the system. So how do we fix this? We're gonna click back to home and just above the graph area that shows logins and course completions, you're gonna find a little symbol, it brings you into the timeline. So we're gonna click on the extended timeline below and in here you'll see all the things that you've recently done in the system which is a useful thing to know, but you'll notice also that we have an undo button for the deletions. We have deleted Peter Parker and Perry White. You could even hear, uh, you could even filter on what events you wanna see. For example, if we only wanna see deleted user users, we can hit the user deletion. So we have the option to hit undo delete or we can do permanently delete. I'm gonna start by undo delete even though it's a digression from what we're trying to do here because then I'm gonna show you here that in back in users, the users are now back. But because we're actually trying to bring these users out of the system so we can import them back, I'm gonna delete them again. And I'm gonna use the mass delete option uh, in the menu to the right of the add user button. So back to home, we're gonna go back to the extended timeline and this time we're gonna delete the users permanently using that red button there. Then we're gonna go back home and into users and now you'll see that they're gone. So on the um, add user button, there's also a little drop down menu. So I'm gonna hit that little arrow and then I'm gonna click import users. And then we get back into the import section. Now I'm gonna click this gray or light blue field to import uh, a file. And then I'm gonna choose that export that we made earlier. Now it'll bring in a lot of information like it did earlier. And we're gonna hit the, the yellow import button below. And now, and now it's gonna show you a lot of information about the uh, import. So for example, if you look at the very top line here, it says user Fred was not imported because the account owner cannot be edited. That's normal because that's my user. You don't wanna have a super user changed through an import and an import can change users. The rest of them say imported or updated successfully. And uh, notice also below that it says user Fred was added to courses user Fred, or user, sorry, user P Parker was added to groups. So not only does it import the basic details of the user, but it also makes sure that they get into the groups and courses, the courses that they're supposed to be in. So that's a successful import of users. Let's go back to users and, and verify this. Let's go to home and click users. Now see that those two users that we tried to import are now back in the system. So that's the most important part of the uh, import done. Now let's click into one of these users. We're gonna click into Peter Parker and then we're gonna have a look at his groups. Now notice he's now a member of the group retail cashier. How did he get into that group? Because we haven't added him into that group after we did the import. So we're gonna look uh, briefly at the Excel sheet. In the tab that says users groups, you'll see Peter Parker, and you'll see that he's assigned to retail cashier. So this is where it gets that information from. So we're gonna try something now. Back in Talent LMS in the user section, we're gonna add Perry White also to the group retail cashiers. Let's click it to him. So we're gonna go into groups and notice he's not a member because the plus is available here and it doesn't say member. We could easily just hit the plus now and he would be a member. But let's say that we had a hundred Perry Whites or a hundred people that we wanted to add to retail cashier. Then it would be a lot easier to do it through an import. So we're gonna go back into the spreadsheet and we're gonna copy the user P white from the user section. We're gonna go back into users groups. We're gonna paste it there. And then we're gonna take retail cashier and copy it down. Now it says that they should both be members of retail cashiers. 
So now do we have to delete those users again and import? Actually, we can just import without deleting them because an import will also update existing users. So we're gonna go through the same process again and select the same file that we just updated. We're gonna hit the import button. And now we're getting the results for the import. And we're gonna go back to users. Now click on Perry White and then into groups. And now he's a group member of Retail Cashier because we set it up in the Excel spreadsheet. So now if you wanted to add 100 new retail cashiers, you could just paste them in here and then you could extend the retail cashier by dragging it down on the, the in the right column right there. And then you could do another import and they would all be retail cashiers in that group. So that's a smart way to import users. That's also a smart way to make a lot of changes in bulk to users that already exist in the platform. So today we looked at how to import users in bulk whether and, and how to import new groups to existing users in bulk. We also looked at the uh, timeline where you can undo actions you've uh, taken in the platform. Now, if any of this was unclear, if there's something I didn't cover, there's a question you might still have, please give me a comment below and I will make sure I answer it. I might even update the video if it's something that I feel like should be in here. Next time, we're gonna have a look at courses. We're gonna build some courses and uh, eventually we're gonna start assigning courses to users. And then we'll start returning to groups and branches. Thanks for watching today. And uh, if this was at all helpful, please remember to like and subscribe if you wanna see future videos in this series.